Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another exciting videos for you. Many of you have been requesting this topic and finally here it is. In this video, I will show you how to set up user permission in Google Sheets and AppScript. This system ensures that an admin has full control over all pages, while normal users have limited access based on the permissions assigned by the admin. So before I begin, I want to give you a snapshot into my future's upcoming videos. I have some fantastic content lined up including complete invoicing system in Google App Script and Google Sheets, employee management system using Google Sheets and App Script, school management system with Google Sheets and App Script, live chat system using Google Sheets and App Script, photo management system with Google Drive integration, automated tasks management system using Google Sheet and App Script, and many more unique applications. Easy to understand tutorials coming your way. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so now. Because creating this type of videos takes a lot of effort and I provide them to you for free. All I ask for is your support. Let's get started. So this is the login page. So I will start by logging with admin. So I will log in with admin. Once the admin is logged in, the admin will see all the pages over here. So in the left hand side and here there will be menu user permission. So if we click on the user permission, it will open the user permission page where we can select the user. So this user is selected from these sheets, user sheets, you can see. And the respective pages that this user has been permitted to see user dashboard, consumer entry, consumer follow-up, and password, uh, change password. If we select another user, see, this user has three pages allowed, and this user is disabled, okay? So, if we update any, the permissions to any of this user, it will reflect over here, okay? So let's try with the second user and see whether it shows all the pages or the pages that the user has been allowed. So let's log out and log in with the second user which roles is only user. So it will redirect to the user dashboard, see? This is the user dashboard. And it has one, two, three, four pages allowed. So let's enter some consumer entry over here quickly. to a consumer data has been uploaded so this user this user cannot edit the consumer that has been inserted so this consumer only can follow up the consumers like this and this consumer can only uh, have the permission to change change the password okay like this okay so let's see the 
uh, and, and the data uh, will be saved in the Google Sheets in the Sheets consumer details. So now let's log in with this third number users who has the permissions to edit the consumer details. Okay. So first we'll log out from that user and then can log in. So see, this user has the permissions to edit the consumer details. Okay. But not, but not has the, but this user could not able to upload or insert any consumer data. So let's click on this consumer list and see here is the edit button and delete button. Okay. So this user can delete or edit the consumer details. Okay. And let's try with the fourth user who has, uh, who has whose status is inactive. So let's try with food consumer. See, it's throwing an error that user cannot be logged in as it is inactive. Okay, please contact the admin. Admin. So on another thing, guys, if anyone wants to uh, uh, log in through or on to access access the page through editing this uh, address bar, then it will this uh, it will show the error. Suppose we are not logged, in, and now we are trying to access the user dashboard. Okay, so it will throw an error. See, you are not logged in. Another access. See, it will be it will throw an error. So let's talk about how we can integrate these features in your existing code. So first, go to the description of this video so there you will be find google sheet link so click on that link it will redirect to the page where it will say make a copy so click on that It will take some time and it will open the sheets. So here you can see that there are user sheets. So now let's go to the coding part. So here you can see there are two JS files, main code.js and customer.js so do not change anything in the main code.js okay so you can notice that for each page there are separate html file that is consumer list consumer follow-up consumer entry or or you can say user permission so you can delete this okay. and you also notice that there are two pages named header and footer so these two pages and cons and main dot uh, main code dot js and the html files are the main files so if you want to insert a new page over here so how we can do that suppose we want to insert a new page called report okay so create an html file with report 
and here what you have to do you have to paste this one two three four four lines at the top of that page and you have to include the footer by pasting this include footers this one so if you write anything over here this is report report page okay report page save it and one another thing you have to do is that go to the header and here you can see that namely here menu item so here you have to copy the li li tag and and paste at your desired location okay over here i am pasting below the concept flop and you have to change some data over here that is data hyphen page to report means the page name that we have created and we want to show so report and this one also we have to change this one also we have to change and so do as i am doing okay report page okay so paste and so now if i the project so give its any name user user authentication with who can access in one done so give all the permission that is required if we go to this that link and if we log in with the admin it should so fast it will not so over here and if we go to the user permission and if you select any user it must show that report page over here so click on that report page and up click on update okay update successfully and if we now log out from that and if we again log in the report page should so over here okay so you can also change the icon that that was shown in the left hand side so for that i have uh, used the library box box icon so go to that side box icon so this is a box icon so if you want to to include this icon so only you have to do do is that you have to copy 
to the class and then you have to paste paste our we, uh, you have to replace our the present classmate okay so this one is the like this like this okay so remember whenever you add a new page over here so you have to include the respective file file name html file name in the header header file like this that i have included the report report page okay and then on that respective page you have to include these four lines and then this line and if we see the report page it must show the content of that page like right. so this user permission systems allow you to easily manage uh, user access level in your google sheet based project i hope you found this video helpful if you did do not forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you have any question stay tuned for more amazing tutorial see you in the next video